Um, we are here today with Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter from the 1st Congressional District in New Hampshire. We're speaking with the political candidates throughout the state to talk to them about the nonprofit sector, their involvement in the sector, and how they would work with us to strengthen and support the sector if they are elected or, in this case, re-elected to their position. Um, what we would like to do, uh, Congress, Congresswoman Shea Porter, is talk to you, um, ask you to tell us a little bit about your background and uh, your involvement with the nonprofit sector. Okay, good morning, and I'd be delighted to do that. I grew up in a very large family, and I always said my mother was a one-woman social service agency, and we grew up with extended family members living with us, my grandmother and my great uncle mm -hmm. and cousins. So we always had a concern for each other and understand that we're responsible for one another. And I think my mother and my father both inspired me to care and to become a social worker. Mm -hmm. So I got my undergraduate degree from the University of New Hampshire in social services. And then I got my master's degree in public administration from UNH because I did understand that there's an intersection there between the policies that actually get enacted and then how they get carried out on Main Street. So I spent many years working as a social worker. I worked with the elderly, I worked at senior centers, I volunteered in numerous community programs, and then I decided that I wanted to set up a private nonprofit social service agency, which I did, and raised money for it, and I was on the board of directors, and so I'm very proud of it, it still exists today. Mm -hmm. And continued my work after Katrina when I saw what had happened down there. I mm -hmm. volunteered at the Red Cross, and, and that actually got me into politics. Mm -hmm. I had done some work, you know, helping, and I taught politics for 15 years, and after seeing Katrina, I knew that I needed to do more, that I needed to be there as an advocate in Washington. Mm -hmm. So my work really, all my life has been directed towards being an advocate for others, but the political part came when I knew that I wanted to be an advocate in Washington and help shape policy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very uh, broad background in the nonprofit sector and um, in light of the current very severe issues that are facing the state and the nation, can you talk about how you would partner with us to advocate for the nonprofit sector to strengthen us um, and support us as we will be asked to pick up a lot of the pieces um, from the issues that we're dealing with now? Sure. Well, every social worker knows that the government does not and cannot fill all of the, the spots and they can't take care of everybody. And we are the ones who see what's really happening on the main streets and what needs to be done. So now here I am a policymaker, and it's just a, a, a great perch mm -hmm. to be able to reach out and help. One of the things that we need to do is to make sure that all the nonprofits are connected with business and with government so that we can utilize our resources and that we can identify and work together because the resources are limited. But the other part that's really critical is to make sure that we direct funding towards the nonprofits so they can carry out their mission mm -hmm. because those who work literally on the streets or in the communities understand best. They see the problem. They even know how to solve it. They don't have the resources. And so I have used my position to help do that by directing funding towards Avis Goodwin Health Center because I know what they do, mm -hmm. and by making sure that money has gone for the, for the conservation groups and making sure that we direct people with certain disabilities to agencies. CAPS are an example, the community action programs mm -hmm. who need help because they're trying to help people with their heating bills. And so my job is to make sure that we get money to them and so while people often think that the nonprofits can work for free, all they need is just the labor, mm -hmm. they just need somebody out there to listen, it's not true. They need the funding as well. Mm -hmm. So my responsibility in Washington is to make sure that we know what is happening, who is providing the services, who's the most effective, mm -hmm. who's closest to the ground, mm -hmm. and then making sure that the funding, because it is limited, is very carefully directed where we'll get the biggest bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. And in my experience, when I have you know worked with nonprofits, I know that the people working the nonprofits get it. They absolutely get it. Mm -hmm. So they are very fiscally responsible, careful with the dollar, can stretch it. Mm -hmm. And that is where I want to continue to direct funding. Mm -hmm. But it's still obviously business is a very, very important part of of what happens in a community. Mm -hmm. Businesses need to do well 
so that they can help the nonprofits to serve. Mm -hmm. And linking all the resources, I think, is critical. So we have to do as much as we can, and we have to put more funding in to make it possible. Thank you very much, and good luck with your campaign and your re-election. Thank you. It's nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, too.